chose life made me this way. Um, curving, I think guys really need to get curving hints. Like, if a girl's giving you those hints that she's curving you, like, once you get that curve, swerve. Like, I'm a nice guy, so you know, I really don't curve people. Like, I believe in just, like, I, I don't want to hurt people's feelings. That's what I'm really trying to say. So I like become their friend, you know, like a really, really close friend. <laughs> you can do whatever you want to do. If I don't find interest, I keep my red receipt on. That's the biggest curve. I'll read it, mm -hmm. close it, act like nothing ever happened. And then I'm so cold, I even tweet to let you know. <laughs> no, no, fuck that. I'll snap about you and let you know that I read your shit and be like, I just, I'm not feeling you. I just, if I holler at you, right, and you cut at me, if you tell me you got a boyfriend, Four out of ten chances is you don't got no man. Okay, y'all, so when I don't want to talk to someone, I just tell them I have a boyfriend. That's just the easiest thing to come to mind. Because if I sit here and I tell you no, why are you saying no? You got a boyfriend? I have a boyfriend. A, what you doing here? Because, you know, where your man at? And B, you don't need to have that man if he ain't with you all the time anyways. I don't get curved. Straight up. I mean, I don't need it. You know, my, you know my philosophy. All straights, no breaks. All straights, no breaks. Hey, curve looks like a 13 year old white girl. Curving is a master art. If you send me a message at 906 and I read it at 906 and it is now 1204, I just curve you. Like, I don't I don't want to read your message. Don't double text me because I will block you. But who wants a man from some kids in Like, I feel like as a man, if you're getting curved, like if a girl's giving you hints that she's not trying to kick it with you, nothing, you should just fall back or you're embarrassing yourself. She just playing hard to get. But if you do get curved, don't be one of them niggas be like, fuck you, bitch, you feel me? Oh, what the fuck with you, no horn? Nah, do that, bro. Be hurt. <laughs> you look, look, sympathy pussy is the best pussy. I'm just gonna they, that's, you gotta, that's not a chance to get pussy. If you yeah, that hard. Well, I mean, you play, maybe. Yeah, I done done it before. And then I'll take you to Twitter and I'll block you there and I'll probably block you on Instagram. And that's what curving is. Calling Dibs, I don't believe in Dibs. I feel like if she likes him and I like him, we're just gonna battle it out and see who he likes. Calling Dibs, there's no Dibs. Let her choose. Calling Dibs, like if you're a dude and you're calling Dibs, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like you must be dry. Exactly, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if I'm better than you, then he's gonna want me. Like, it's, it's whoever he wants, you know? There's no point calling Dibs, there's no point at all. Like, look, ladies. If you call Dibs, it's just not gonna work. It doesn't matter if you call him or not. He's not gonna want you unless he wants you, if you get what I'm saying. Like, you should let the girl choose. Like, if you do what you do, spit your game right or whatever, it should work out. If not, you're not that fly. You gotta go back to the drawing board. Um, if you're going out with your fellas and one of your fellas called Dibs, he's probably the one that's not gonna get the girl anyway. <laughs> so there's really no Dibs. No amount of ass shaking or asking him what he studies in the middle of a party is gonna make him want you. So you might as well just let him pick the fine girl. We'll call him Dibs. I got a girl with Simpson on this one. Uh, I feel like it's childish to call Dibs. Like if I see a female that I want to talk to and my niggas want to talk to the same female, I'm not gonna be like, hey, I want to talk to her. It's gonna be whoever gets to her first, spit the best game, and whoever she chooses. I don't fuck with that call of Dibs. My policy with Dibs is everybody can think a guy's cute, but it doesn't count unless he approaches someone first. So if X, Y, and Z like Bob and Bob comes talks to X, then X has a Dibs, and that's the end of the discussion. Yeah, no, ain't, ain't no Dibs. Like, you gotta let her choose. If she come and she pick me, she pick me. She pick Bryce up, she pick Bryce up. I can be butt hurt, but she most likely gonna pick me. What's up? She not gonna pick me. Cause I'm gonna mess up.
No one really cares that much. You're really ugly. Your life isn't like that important to really just lie to everybody. If you have to keep using argan oil on your edges to be somebody, stop. I don't know, sometimes I feel like you gotta boost though. You gotta boost to get what you want. That's my that's my tactic. I feel like if I see what I want and I know I want it, I'ma boost, I'ma say whatever I need to say to get what I want. Simple as that. One time this girl she boosted her friend. I was supposed to be chilling on her. She weighed at least 250. What? <laughs> Relax. Hey look, I like the big girl. What's up, baby? Sell a drink. So, you know, if I gotta, you know, tell her she look good and tell her she fine and tell her, you know, her sister or her her friend not firing her, lose her confidence, her confidence, and her self esteem, confidence, it's trademark, then, you know, I'm gonna do it. But that, you know, and other niggas might feel like, oh, I'm wrong, I shouldn't do that, but I'm gonna do what I gotta do to hit, because you ain't gonna hit it for me. But, you know, that's another story. Anyway, selling dreams, there's nothing wrong with selling dreams. I mean, women don't like it, whatever. But it's not my fault that a woman get lied to to get hit. See, if you don't want to get hit and lied to, just let us hit without lying. Because if I talk to you and say, hey, I love to have sex with you. You either going to A, slap me, B, walk away, or three, call the police. And I don't want no sexual harassment case. I got a future. So, I'm going to keep selling dreams. Uh, sex game. Not really a big fan of sexting, to be honest. Are we sexting or texting? Rules to sexting 101. Rule number one, do not show your face or anything that would be like, if you had a Hello Kitty tattoo, I wouldn't show that thigh in a pic. So just none of that. Nothing to say, hey, that's Marquita. It's like, if it's not live in action, like in my personal view, then you can keep it. Because if it's not live in action, it's not the same, you know? It's just not genuine. I don't even believe in sexing, but I do have a tip. If you're gonna like sex someone, I would prefer if you're properly shaven. <laughs> There's like no little spots. <laughs> Little bumps, little dark oh, marks. That's tea tree oil. Yeah, tea tree oil they need does that. The job. Yeah, and you know, if you're gonna be in those type of scenarios, I would prefer for you to do it on Facetime. If he only hits you after 11:30, there was after gone. the pox. If y'all ain't got hit up, y'all ain't talking all day. But he can hit you and say, "What you doing at 11?" But I mean, if it's just like on the two o'clock on a regular day, I'm not cool. It means you like I'm finna cook, come over. Y'all in a good position. I don't need you sending me a whole bunch of pictures and then people going through my phone like, oh, what's this? What's this? Like, you know, what happens between me and you stays between me and you. Not me. I was had a couple things things. No face though. You know, it's a lot safer. Or just sex with your man only. Like when you're doing it to people, you know, you just, oh, you know, that's my little babe. Well, babe's gonna blast you on Instagram. I would hate, you know, if that to happen to you. And lately, it's just been like everybody's in the new game. Like nobody's Kim K. You're not gonna get rich off of it. Just relax. I feel like if you're gonna just sex, you might as well just go to each other's house and just do what y'all gotta do. Or just have like little peep shows. shape or form is it okay for any of my friends to date my leftovers my ex somebody i just talked to for a day i don't care we don't play that you will get slayed okay i don't think people can pee on a tree and claim every tree that they pee on so it really would determine which person or which of my exes that you decided to talk to if i really cared about them or not mm -hmm. and i'm up okay so when it comes to people who want to take what i already left I just feel like half the time it's the people in your circle who, or the people who you're cool with, who be like, oh, he's ugly, or, uh, he all right, or he ain't no good, and then two months later, after y'all done stop talking, that's that Man Crush Monday. It's out of line on every level. If I was fucking with a heavy, they know not to really, like, talk to her, because that was, like, an important piece, but if she was, like, a red box or, them, like, a one-night thing or whatever it is, I mean, fuck it. It's more fun if the homies get some. If you date one of my friends, not saying my friends are ugly, you try.
trash. And they trash trash.